and welcome to my channel, Adventures in Pixie Land. I um, am going to be starting doing these readings for, you know, one sign at a time. So we're going to start with reading for the sign of Scorpio. Now this, of course, is a general reading. Please take what resonates and uh, leave the rest. So what is going on for Scorpio from October 11th? To October 18th. What is going on for Scorpio? Yeah. October 11th to October 18th. Hmm. October 11th to the 18th. interesting. What's going on for Scorpio? October 11th to the 18th. What is it all about? October ooh, <laughs> to the 18th. We'll take that one because it was ready to jump. Okay, okay. So in your recent past, you were, uh, you moved into calmer waters. And uh, you, in this, it, it put you into this um, mindset here of generosity with the Six of Pentacles. And then you had a choice that you needed to make that you really didn't make, as in you're still contemplating this choice in your present moment. Going into your near future, you're going to receive a communication, likely a, a work communication, or it's going to be a communication about something you need to work on. Uh, someone to you is uh, offering you new, a new beginning with this Ace of Wands over here. And then uh, you are ready to set down a burden. That's how you're interacting back with them. And the balance is found in finding the balance. Or this could be a court case. Maybe it's uh, a judgment of some kind that goes in your favor. And the outcome is you will receive a communication, fast-moving communication. Uh, you've got yourself, I mean, it's the Empress card, which could be a mother, or it could be somebody in Taurus or somebody in Libra. You've got yourself the King of Wands here, um, and this is a fire sign, so Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And then some frustration, so it seems like that you're going to receive some communication. Let's get some clarifying going on, because... It's a little, a little vague. So, what is the Six of Swords about? Hmm. Actually, yeah, that's what I thought. It's always like that. Uh, that is the uh, Wounded Warrior in reverse. So that's really communication. There was some sort of communication that came in. What is the Six of Swords about? Uh, something coming to a completion. Can you get the world and death? And judgment a choice was made and something came into completion so what's this six of pentacles about magician uh, a Virgo or a Gemini or possibly just manifesting something better what is this magician about moon mm. okay what is this magician about Oh, okay, so some manifesting some sort of communication about feelings or about something that was hidden. What is this uh, Two of Pentacles? Blue in the air. That is the Six of Cups in reverse, so something, okay. Well, mm. what is with this Two of Pentacles? Three of Swords, okay, so heartbreak. Uh, sorrow so juggling was going on something was was not right here somebody from the past I mean this is definitely the, your past that was created some kind of stress what is the seven of cups about it's like what, what choices are you considering oh five of cups walking away what is the seven of cups about Knight of Wands oh walking away maybe because um, there were too many options right 
somebody somebody was con making you an option something uh, someone was being a player energy in and out energy with you what is this page of pentacles about it's three of wands five of swords yeah somebody was looking towards the future and it made you feel like you were left out in the cold that's what the communication was about what is this three of pentacles about My priestess, two of swords, two of wands. A choice wasn't being made because something wasn't revealed and then through some kind of communication, could be from an earth sign but could be from a cancer, you got information that you needed that, that motivated you to put in towards the work. What is this ace of wands? Is it somebody's offering you a new beginning? Six of Wands, so victory. This is a good, a good thing. This communication, you're gonna like it. What is this Ace of Wands about? That and this. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Eight of Swords. So there was some sort of stress over the, whatever this work is here. Whatever this work situation is, wherever you're in, putting in your work, it doesn't have to be. Uh, at a job, it, you can, you put work into your relationships. You put work into it, into, of course, your marriage. You put work into the things you're trying to accomplish, and of course, you do work at work. So it could be that, or you could be working around your house. It could be any number of things. But whatever it is, you're going to have a victory over this this stress that this situation was causing you. When this new beginning is a beautiful thing. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Like, what, what burdens are you setting down? That's too many cards. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Happiness. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Okay. <laughs> the Ten of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Wands. This is wonderful, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Synchristities. <laughs> so, yeah. The burden you were putting down... Uh, had you putting in work, which is going to lead to your happiness. That's what that is. All right. Tell me about this justice card. Oh, Revelation. Ace of Swords. Tell me about this justice card. Oh, okay. So this new information, this new beginning, this this is going to, Nine of Pentacles is going to lead you to a happy place. So you're going to get this communication. So, tell me about this Empress. Ace of Cups, Hangman. Tell me about this Empress. I mean, this person loves you. King of Swords. Interesting. There's a decision to be made here. I mean, it's, like I said, this is Libra energy. So, it's possible that even, there's no gender in tarot, so it's possible that this is a male, um, a male air sign, or it could be a female. It could be a Libra air sign, and just she could just be standing in her masculine energy. It could be either because we each have masculine and feminine energy to us. But there's been a waiting that's been going on before this offer was made, and this is. You got the Ace of Wands, you got the Ace of Swords, and you got the, the Ace of Cups here. This is, wow. Okay, tell me about this King of Wands. That's too many cards. Tell me about this King of Wands. Ten of Swords, the Tower, the Five of Swords. Okay, so. You're going to get this, you're going to get information about a betrayal of some kind, about a, a somebody said something or did something that you know wasn't good about you or f for you, and that deception. I mean, it's the Five of Swords and the Five of Swords here. So I mean, these two are obviously related to each other. So this King of Wands, whoever he is, like I said, fire sign. Uh, they did something, and you're going to find out about it. It's, it's some kind of betrayal that happened. And it, and it could be anything. This could be a boss who, you know, was being a jerk. It could be anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be a major deception. 
of some kind. It's just, you know, it's but it's coming to an end, right? So there's stress over it, but it, but it's coming to an end because you're having a tower. You got to have a tower. You got to have you have to end the bad thing in order for new good things to come in. Tell me about the, the five of swords. Strength in reverse. Tell me about this five of swords. So don't, don't let pride get in your way. The sun, yeah, okay. Tell me about this five of swords. Justice, okay, so whatever this is, whatever this is that happened here, this, this betrayal, this problem, where you have this uh, tower that leads to a five of swords, I'm almost, I'm like, I'm, it's kind of like, it's the same, right? <laughs> Don't be too proud to ask for help. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Don't be too proud. To ask for help because that's when the sun will come back out. That's when you're gonna you're gonna find your your ending. Your you know the help. That's when this this person over here can get involved to help you. There is a helper out there. You just have to go look for them. Advice for Scorpio. Six of Wands. Advice for Scorpio. Mm. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Advice for Scorpio. Oh, it's, that is too many cards. Advice for Scorpio. Okay, you want to come out? Three of Swords. Okay, so. I'm going to say this is probably a Libra. I mean, it could be any air sign, but the, the Empress is you know, Taurus and Libra. And you have another Queen of Swords right here. So the advice is when you encounter whatever this is, whatever this heartache is for you, whatever this stressor is that comes in, go find this lady. Because <laughs> if you do that, you will have victory. She's your helper. You find her. Okay, now... Got some oracle cards here. So what is this person? What does the Queen of Swords want to say to Scorpio? You came closer than anyone. What does the Queen of Swords want to say to Scorpio? We are more alike than I admit. What does the Queen of Swords want to say to Scorpio? It was my fault, but I blamed you. That's interesting. Okay. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. There's something better. Advice for Scorpio. You're ready. Advice for Scorpio. Yes. So if you were thinking of a yes or no question, the answer there is yes. Okay. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Hold your vision. A new start is coming. Advice for Scorpio. Work through your fears. That's new moon in Scorpio. This new start is coming is just new moon and hold your vision is a fixed moon. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is believe in the impossible, the blue moon. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And then we'll get you one of these here. These are little fairy readings. And what do we have for Scorpio? Your fairy name. Would you like to know your fairy name? Sit with a tree, a flower, a waterfall and ask, it will be whispered on the breeze, as light as butterfly wings. Insight shall follow. 
Well, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you liked it and you found it informative. Um, please uh, do remember to give us a like, and if you have not subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to hit that little notification button so you can know when this will come out. Scorpio will come out every Tuesday.